Okay, we have two projects that require use of the dado heads. When you make the cut for the safe, you want to have the jig that says half inch finger joint. It says in nice big green letters here. Make sure you have the right one. The other one says for the, uh, for the tray. Now, when you push this in, this right here, this blade should be right up against that. Please don't adjust it. I try to keep it at one setting all the time. It works for everything we do. Please don't raise and lower the blade. Uh, all it does is mess us up and makes it so when you start cutting these out, this opening gets too big here and you get chips out the back of your safe, which requires a lot of sanding and putty. Okay, now when we make this cut, uh, it doesn't matter. You're going to cut one side like that. What you're doing is you're going to put it down tight and make sure there's no sawdust in this area here. Put it down tight against the phenolic stop. Hold it like this. Don't hold it like this, or like this, or like this, or like this. Hold it down tight, snug. You see where your hand is right now? You're plenty distance away from that blade. You're okay, don't put your hand down like this, of course. This does have the saw stop technology, but it's a very expensive blade if it does fire. So please do not do that. Keep your hand well, well up out of the way. Turn the saw on. You bring it off, the back side is pretty clean, and the cut's clean cut. Try to over that stop and make the next one. Please make sure that it is down. You don't want sawdust that's going to hold this up. These cuts should be in a perfectly straight line all the way across that. You get a scrap of sawdust that's going to mess that up. Make sure it's down all the way. Now you see on this right here, this groove lines up with that groove. Does that all the way across. You want to re repeat that procedure for all four sides. Okay, after you've got them all uh, finger joints cut, just put it together and see if it works. If you've done it right, you're not going to have uh, a lot of sticky outies on it. I don't know how to describe that. Um, the joint should be pretty, pretty, pretty tight. Enough room in there for some glue. You don't have to pound it together. But these points right here uh, where these come together they're tight and they're almost flush and this is 
this is pretty much what you're after on these right here. That's just a nice clean one. It's not gonna take a lot of sanding to make this thing work. Not a lot of work to trim it up. Now, a lot of this is because the dado head was where it belongs. My pieces are three quarter inches thick. And that combination right there, it always works. It's when you mess it up, you don't check the settings to make sure these are three quarters. If you don't make sure that the dado head blade is the right height, then you're gonna cut yourself in for a lot of work. Okay, when time comes time for glue up, make sure somebody hasn't just glued up already because when you put your box in, in the clamping jig, it needs to stay in there about 20 minutes. And if somebody just barely glued up and you start gluing yours, theirs will not stay in long enough and uh, that could cause a problem. So make sure the thing's free, make sure the clamps are backed off a little ways. Then all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take just two of the sides and I'm just gonna take some glue and put it on the nubs here. See, wow, you know, I'm, looks like I'm putting a lot, but actually what I'm doing, I kind of have a faster way to do this. It's kind of cheating. I'm gonna turn it around, glue the other end. This side here, I'm gonna smear, smear, and then I'm gonna flip the whole thing straight over and just watch the drips fall down on the other side. Then I'm gonna take my finger and smear them around to make sure it's covered. And if you get a little bit of drippage, that's life. Then you set your piece down. Get the finger off, get the glue off your fingers, that way you're not gonna get it all over your project. Then I'm just gonna slip it, set that end on there. I'm going to slip this end on here. Put the top on. In the jig. And then this jig will uh, tighten a little bit, just one side a little bit snug. Then you can bring the other side up, tighten it up snug, work your way back and forth. And that's what you've got. Now, if on the inside here you have glue that's squeezed out, you want to make sure you get yourself a paper, yourself a paper towel and wipe it out of there because you don't want that glue on the inside of your project. And that's why we finished the inside, just in case uh, you did get glue in there because it's really difficult to sand out. No, it's a little different. Uh, I'm going to actually play and make a video on that, but it's, it's all we do is once when I've got it figured out, it's a piece of cake. I wish I didn't have to graduate this year. And I also wish I 